Hi, I'm Steve Dockery and welcome back to Moot Workshop. Today, we're gonna to take apart an iMac. Uh, we already did this iMac, haven't got to that one yet. Uh, this is what we're gonna do. This is not the original iMac. Those came out in 1998, late 1998. This is an early 1999 blueberry iMac, one of the five flavors tray loading iMacs. Uh, you can take the bottom panel off and slide the computer guts out and replace the hard drive and the memory. We'll show you how to do that. Uh, but you can also continue to take all the plastics off the outside of it to get to the actual guts of the, the analog boards, and including the video board and power. Uh, and even if you don't need to repair it, it's just kind of neat to see what the insides are. So we'll show you around. Uh, so stick around, we're taking this thing apart. Okay, so the first thing we need to do to get inside of this thing is take this bottom cover off. There's a screw right here. Get that screw out. <laughs> then you just grab this handle and pull on this plastic and it'll pop loose. So that's the bottom cover piece. This is basically the computer. The rest is like power and video, but the computer is right inside of this module here, this whole thing here. This is actually uh, the video cable going to the video part of it, and we got power and front panel connections and all that kind of stuff. So to get this out, we have two screws to remove up here. You don't wanna drop those down inside the machine. There we go. And we want to disconnect the video. Cable, which there's little thumb screws, but they're really hard to do with your hand. So do those with the screwdriver because they have a cross on the end of them. And it's just basically a yeah. so that's a video connector. And this is slides out. This one slides out. Now this one though is connected by a little standoff right here. And you can't slide this out if that's still connected. So when you unscrew that little screw, and you really want to be careful not to drop that one down inside the machine. It's a tiny little screw that can cause havoc. All right, now you can just grab this top tart as a handle and just lift the computer out. Uh, and it looks like I broke the front of the CD drawer off, so we'll, we'll have to fix that. Here we have the brain. This is the whole computer. All right, here's the pram battery. We have a video RAM right here. The regular RAM is back there. Uh, a whole bunch of processors and other electronics, uh, none of which you can do anything with. However, right here we have the optical drive, and underneath we have the hard drive, which you can replace. Let's get back and take the rest of it apart. All right, now we're gonna take the bottom case off. Um, one thing we have to do to get to the bolts is there's a bolt behind this door over here, so we have to take this off. Um, it snap fits, and you have to be very careful pulling it off, not to, not to break it. Oh, all right, looks okay. All right, so now there's a big bolt here, a big bolt here, big one here, big one here, two small screws there, and two smalls down in these resets. So let's get these out.
And then you want to pry this up on the back until it unsnaps. Pick the back end of this up uh, and unsnap it from little latches up here in the front. And that's the bottom panel off. All right, now we're going to take the outer bezel off. Um, the simple part is the first part where we just have two screws we have to take out. Then we have to pry this apart on each side. Hopefully without breaking any tabs off. <laughs> Should use a plastic sort of non-marring thing to push on those tabs. But if you're very careful, you can keep from damaging them. And that should unsnap the bezel. So now that's off. Okay, so the first thing we have to do to take the, the big translucent top case off is there's these little covers over these screws. You take a, a tiny screwdriver. Let me see if I have a better one for that. You should be able to pry these covers up because they have a couple of pads. Um, because these are old, I'm always afraid of breaking the tabs off. And, oh, well, that one's already got broken tabs, so that's off of there. So now we just take these two screws out, and they're the same big, coarse, threaded screws that were used to hold the bottom on. Now, getting this off of here is actually just a little bit tricky. Um, the, uh, the sides have little hooks, basically. So you sort of pick this up and get it unhooked. And off it comes. So that's how we take that piece off. Okay, the last step we need to do in order to get in here to see what we can see is to take this shield off. It's 10 sheet metal screws all around the sides of it. I know I keep admonishing you about this, but make sure you don't touch anything in there, um, even if it hasn't been plugged in recently because uh, there should, still could be residual high voltage. So definitely don't touch anything that you know, uh, that you don't know isn't uh, definitely not live. And uh, I mean, even technically, I can't be certain that the shield is not shorted to something, except that I would probably be, be, be shocked right now. So honestly, if you do this and you kill yourself by electrocution, uh, please don't sue me. This is entirely at your own risk. All right, that's the last one. So we should be able to pull this off of here. Here we go, that's the shield. Thank you.
And there we have it, all back in one piece. Thanks for joining us on Moot Workshop.